Hey, hey. So let's talk about feet. If you're having some pain, a hot spot, which means a little bit of a spot here where there's numbness or tingling or pain, or maybe a numb toe or two, then I've got a couple things you can take a look at with your shoes and see if they're contributing to this issue. I have here a pair of running shoes that are not mine. <laughs> and uh, the first thing I want you to look at with your shoes is the difference between the height of the heel to the ball of the foot. Typically in running shoes, I know this is not necessarily the same inside, but typically we have a higher heel, elevated heel intentionally than the ball. So it tips us forward and even when we're just standing, dumps a little more weight into the front of the foot right here on the ball. So that's number one thing. A zero drop shoe is one that has no difference between the back and the front of the shoe. And it's more adequate for distrib distributing weight and also getting your gait pattern into a, um, a place where it can be more efficient. Second thing I want you to look at is pull out the stinky ooh, insert, slap it on the ground, put your foot on top of it and just notice how the shape of the insert compares to the shape of your foot. So for me, I've got the edges of my feet hanging out over either side of the foot. So my pinky toe and my big toe both hanging out there. So the width of the shoe is not adequate for me. What happens when the width isn't adequate? Squishes everything in here, pinches nerves. So that could be a big contributor. Most running shoes do not take into account different foot widths. I've got my Vivos here. They have a, a much more generous uh, toe box, so to speak. So I can wiggle my toes. Is the width enough? That's the other foot. It's a little bit on the edge as well. So I could even like size up on this or go for a wider, a wider shoe. I have a pretty wide foot, <laughs> but uh, it's a great way to just check in really quick and see if that compression with the shoe width is part of the problem. And then the third thing that has nothing to do with shoe is just working on building up the core strength in your foot, working on intrinsic foot strength and giving the foot back the ability to get stronger by getting rid of, of shoes in your life as much as possible and doing some isolated hip and foot strength exercises. That's another discussion for another time, but good luck with your shoe research. Let me know what you find out.